All right, so from the math, easy solution here. Discuss whether a function is differentiable or not, and look at an example. Basically, a function is differential. Just means if the if the limit exists or stated like this, function f is differentiable at a if the derivative at a exists. It just means if if it exists, and then we just call it differentiable. But and then if we look at an interval. It is said to be differential in interval if it is differential at every number in that interval. So instead of just one number, we're looking at a whole interval right here. So now, yeah, to help illustrate this concept, I'll basically look at this example. Where is the function f(x) equals absolute value of x differentiable? Now, first recall with absolute values, it always has to be positive. So in this case, we could break it up into two functions. Write it in a bracket like this. So basically, equals x whenever you have x is greater than zero, and in this case, whenever it's greater than zero, well, if you have two, absolute value of two is just two, so we just leave it at x. But then, if we have less than zero right here, let's say negative two, absolute value is two, so we can just put a negative because negative times a negative is going to be a positive or an absolute value of it. So when this is when x is uh, less than zero here, we'll also look at when x equals to zero. Well, that, when x equals to zero, we just get Basically, y equals to zero if let's say y equals f of x right here. But now to look at the derivative, we have to just uh, let's look at the three distinct parts at this uh, x equals zero and when x is greater than zero and x is less than zero right here. De and recall from the definition of derivative, yeah, from the definition it just states uh, derivative equals limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h right here. You could also just use the derivative rules and and basically go over it from there. But I'm going to go over the using this definition derivative because it's just following on from my definition derivative video series that I've done earlier. So basically, uh, to find derivative, let's say when x is greater than zero, we just look at this function, which is f of x equals to x right here. So now we, if we plug in this x plus h inside this f of x, so instead of that, we'll and then basically we solve the derivative in this case. So we'll get f of x equals two limit as h approaches zero of now this x plus h that's this f of x because uh, we're just plugging in the x plus h inside this x minus now well f of x which is just x all divided by h now as you can see these x's cancel and we'll be left with limit as h approaches zero now it's just h over h and this just cancels this equals to one so our derivative is a positive one right here but now when we look at x is less than zero right here and write that same exact derivative now. Now this f of x now remember is going to be equal to negative x. So now we'll have limit yeah limit of h is approaches zero. Now we'll, instead of the uh, x we'll have a negative x now. So we'd put a negative and then put x plus h minus now negative x right here. So this is f of x. We're minusing f of x all divided by h right here. And if we expand that part out, we'll get, yeah, you know, we'll get base limit h approaches zero. Now negative x, negative h, put the negative inside, minus uh, a negative, we're gonna get a positive x all divided by h. And as you can see, these x's cancel, and we'll be left with negative h over h. Yeah, negative h over h is cancels, and we'll just be left with negative one right here. So as you can see, whenever x is less than zero, this derivative exists, so it is differentiable. So because this the, the limit exists and equals to one for whenever this is uh, greater than zero, whenever it's less than zero, so it, it is differentiable when it's greater than zero or less than zero. But now let's look at when it equals to zero. Now if we look at at when x equals to zero, yeah, when we look at this x equals zero, we'll notice that if we take limit basically, yeah, limit as basically h approaches zero. But actually, I'll write uh, initially here. So f of f prime of zero now. So if we look at this value alone, we're gonna have now using the exact same stuff above. Now we're gonna have absolute value because we're, we're just looking at the total value. And we just look at this y equals absolute value of x. So if you just put an absolute value now zero plus h, that's this x plus h, but now this x is zero minus now absolute value of zero, then all divided by h right here. Now the reason I've written it like this is because if basically if we si keep simplifying, this zero doesn't mean anything. Absolute value of zero is zero, so now we'll have limit as h approaches zero of now zero. Or again, the zero goes away. Yeah, the zero doesn't uh, mean anything; just a zero. So now we'll have an absolute value of h over an h. So at x equals zero of y equals absolute value of x, 
the derivative is this, but now notice that this is not just one value, because if, if we were to do limit as h approaches zero from the right side or the positive side, this plus means from the right side, then the absolute value of this one is positive, because let's say 0.3, absolute value of 0.3, is 0.3, so we'll have h over h equals to 1. But if we go from the left side, and this is of negative, of 0 from the left side or the negative side of it, or put a minus there, it's now we're going to have once again a negative h right here because negative 0.3, absolute value of negative 0.3, because we're going, remember, if we go from the negative side, it's going to be negative. So in order for this top to be positive or absolute value, we need to multiply by a negative. So it's going to be negative h over h, and this just equals to negative 1 right here. So then this is not the same. So basically, limit does not exist. And you can see my earlier video on, on why this is so uh, uh, again. But basically, it you know if it's going to equal, if the limit does exist, then it has to be equal uh, to one value, basically, from the left and right side of it. And in this case, we'll just write it's not, uh, yeah, basically, limit as h plus 0 from the left side of fx is not the same as the right side, so it does not exist at, at x equals to 0. So we, to answer the first question, yeah, to answer the first question, we states what is it differentiable? Basically, it's differential at all values but x equals to 0. So when x is greater than 0, it it's differentiable, the derivative exists and it's 1. When it's less than 0, it exists and it's negative 1. But when it's at 0, it could be negative 1 or 2, thus does not exist. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this uh, useful example uh, and also uh, more on, on functions and if it's differentiable or not. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.